Hello pretty people, Kawazafa no Kyodori des. Today we're going to talk about Daremo, Nanemo, Daredemo, Nandemo, and in general about these combined uses of Mo. And this is important not only because it's useful in itself, but because it's going to show us how these kind of combined Mo expressions work. And that's useful because there are quite a lot of them. And the textbooks tend to explain each one as if it were a separate learning job. But if we can understand the underlying principles, we're going to find it a lot easier to learn them all. So, let's start with daremo nanimo. Now, we combine these with a negative, like nai, to mean nobody or nothing. So, daremo inai, there's nobody there. Nanimo nai, there's nothing. Now that's easy enough, but let's just stop to see what's going on here. What's that mo doing? Now, as we explained in the lesson on mo, mo is the additive particle, the including particle, and it can also be used to mean as much as in, for example, expressions like Ichi kan mo matta. I waited for as much as an hour. Now, the thing I'd like us to note here is that as much as in English can also be said as even. Think about how we use even. It was six feet or even seven feet. That means it was six feet or as much as seven feet. She didn't even smile. She didn't as much as smile. So the two expressions are pretty much equivalent in most cases. The same is true in Japanese. So mo, which means as much as, can also mean even. So we look at daremo and nanimo. The dare here is like dareka, someone, and the nani is like nanika, something. So, when we say dare mo inai, we are saying not even someone, no one. Nani mo nai, not even something, nothing. Alright, now that's simple enough. So what about dare demo, nan demo? People are sometimes confused because this seems to mean the opposite. And that's mainly because we don't add a negative to it. But also, let's look at the demo, which we have instead of mo. What is that doing? Well, we understand the mo, but what about the de? The de here is not the particle de, it is the te form of da or des, the copula. And what does the copula do? As we learned in the lesson on the copula, it is the coupler. Copula means coupler, and it couples together to nouns. So what are the nouns here? Well, this de gathers together the whole sentence that comes before it, rather like the nominalizing no. So we treat that all as a unit, a noun, and it's coupling it together with another zero noun, which we can just call it. So, dare demo doesn't mean everyone, that's minna, it means anyone. So if we say, dare demo dekiru, anyone can do it. What we're saying is, even if it's anyone, they can do it. The even is that more. The it is is given to us by the de. Even if it is anyone, they can do it. Or look at an expression like nandemo i. That means even if it's anything, it's good. Even if it's anything, it's okay. And this is often used in a quite a dismissive way. Nandemo i. Even if it's anything, it's good. In other words, I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. Whatever. Similarly, do demo i. Do is how, in what way, doesn't matter. However, doesn't matter. Anyway is okay. It can be quite dismissive. So what we're literally saying is, even if it's anyway, it's okay. And we can notice that demo itself, which means but, works in the same way. We gather together the sentence before it, and then we say, even if that, this, as much as that, this. For example, she's pretty, but she's not very clever. Now, as I say, we're going to encounter this sort of thing in various circumstances. For example, when I was doing upper beginner lower intermediate Japanese, I read about this phrase called kamoshiremasen, which is quite a mouthful, and we're told it means perhaps, maybe. And of course it does. But the way the textbooks teach it is just a random set of syllables to memorize and try to remember what they mean, perhaps. But in fact, there's a logic to it which I didn't realize until much later, and I should have been taught right at the beginning. Ka mo shire nai. Ka mo shire masen. What's this? Ka, the question marker, is making a question of the whole of what came before. So, the question of that, 
Whether that's the case or not, the question of that, no shiremasen. Shiremasen, as we should know, is the potential form of shiru to know. So it means can't know. Shiremasen, shirenai, can't know. So we have ka, we have shiremasen, and in between them we have mo, which means as much as. So, as to that whole question, ka bundles the whole thing into a question, mo, as much as, even shiremasen, can't know. As to whether that is true or not, that question, I can guess, I can suggest, but it's a maybe, it's a perhaps. Can't go as far as to know. So we see that kamo shiremasen is not a random set of syllables. It's made up of three elements that we know already and that make perfect sense when we understand how they work. Please remember that the course book for this course of lessons is Unlocking Japanese. You can get it at Amazon in Kindle or paperback editions. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below and I will answer. Thank you for attending this lesson. Kore kara mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Class dismissed.